click on the View Panel button to activate it. Make sure the data portal is visible, using the keys Alt F6 to show it if not. From the View Panel File menu, choose New. Hover your mouse over the Group Bar option Regular Worksheet Partitions and select the Two Areas option. In the Data Portal, under the Channel Group example, select the Channel Time, and then while pressing the Control key, select the Channel Speed and RPM. With the mouse still over the selected channels, drag and drop them to the upper view sheet. A pop-up menu will appear, select the 2D Axis System option. Note that whenever dragging and dropping anything but waveform channels to the view sheet to create a 2D chart, you should always select the X channel, followed by one or more Y channels. The speed channel is the red curve, and it cannot be seen because its amplitude is far less than the RPM green curve. To make them both visible, go to the 2D Axis System toolbar Y axis and select the option N Systems Linear. Choose the View Toolbar Options Crosshair Cursor and Curve Cursor. Then click on the speed curve and notice as you follow from left to right along the curve, the X and Y channel values are shown. Click on the View Maximum Values Cursor Toolbar and then click on the RPM curve and drag from left to right, observing how the cursor jumps from one discovered peak to the next displaying the X and Y channels values in a small windows. Let's inspect the data more closely between 0 and 10 seconds. Select the View Toolbar Band Cursor and choose the Band Zoom option. The cursor changes to a magnifying glass with two vertical lines. Align the left line with the X axis at time equals 0 sec. Click and drag to the right and release at approximately 10 sec. If you don't get it right, Click on the View toolbar, zoom off, and start over. Click on the View toolbar, Minimum Values cursor. Then click on the RPM channel curve, identifying the first minimum after the first peak of 3,800 RPM at 3.19 seconds. 